Kapotasana, one of the deepest backbends in the Ashtanga Yoga second series. Inhale, lift your spine up out of the pelvis and send your hips forward. Exhale, take your hands over the top of the head, gazing towards your heels. If you can see your heels, you can probably reach back and walk up towards them. Now, normally you would just stay in the posture right in the heels, but I'd like to see if I could take it a little bit deeper today. Since the body's a little slippery, slide the hands to the outside of the heels and walk along your mat. Walking on the mat is a great technique to get to your heels, but today I'm going to use that to go a little bit further. Then press the pelvis forward and send the iliac crest up while pressing the knees down. Inwardly rotate the thighs and then relax the back as you walk the fingers towards the knees. Then press up a little bit again into the thighs, into the knees, and squeeze them in towards each other to create a little bit of space. Exhale as you relax, walk the fingers towards the knees again, soften the mind and relax the body, create length and space, never compress, wait for the body to open. Then easy walk the fingers again, pause, breathe for a moment. It's important to squeeze the elbows towards each other. One more time, crawl a little bit further, see if you can find your deepest movement into this deep, deep posture already. Working a little progressively deeper in Kapotasana will help challenge both the limits of strength and flexibility. Move the hands, next to the feet again after you've reached your maximum limit. Straighten the arms, sending the pelvis forward, and then point the toes right up to the head to make sure that all of the weight is pressed into the knees. Then inhale, come all the way back up. Settle your hips down for a moment just to relax. Find that sense of integration and allow your back bend to deepen with a calm, steady, easy peace of mind.